Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 5934 in Candy Crush Saga. It's a hard level, we can tell by the skull in the purple, where we have 23 moves to clear out, I believe, 56 jelly and nine collect 9 ingredients. Some things kind of flow onto the board as we start this, uh, but I don't see any jelly being removed completely, although you'll see that some of it is down to one layer thick at this point in time. All right, so here are the ingredients. We've got to collect keys from here to open these up so they can drop in. Plus, we've got jelly underneath. Because there's jelly underneath, I want to focus the, on this quickly. My ticking time bombs are only set at the same number of moves I have. So they are moot. I don't have to worry about them at all. They are never going to endanger me. What is going to endanger me is, look at this. I've got these gaps here where this is not filling in. This could be a problem. Also, notice I can't make any moves up here now until I change what the board looks like. So I don't have any of these wonderful um, keys that I'm trying to collect available to me even. Here we go. Now we can open this up. There, there's a key. And there's a key. This is looking better. And then we also have some of the the jelly is up here and that's going to be probably difficult to reach here we go I can't I can't set it up that way but I can take out some jelly and maybe prompt another green to show up nope no more green that's kind of interesting I don't know I'm going to do this instead oh there's another key just in case I can't grab that one key. There we go. All right, so at least we got all of the ingredients collected. We can see how that operates, but we still have a lot of work to do here. So while I was focusing on one thing, the rest of it kind of got away from me. The problem is if I try to avoid that by focusing on the jelly here, then probably I'm going to struggle with the ingredients. Something's got to give, right? Uh, at least that's what Frank Sinatra says. So um, eventually we're going to get this all worked out together. But in the beginning, it's going to be hard to know how to balance those. I was letting the conveyor belt take that out for me. Uh, so at the end of all of this, I'm left with still needing 12 of the jelly. Not great, but it's a hard level, so I expect to grow and learn each time I play. I'll pause the recording, come back with a new board, and try to balance my work on both areas a bit better and hope to get a bit luckier up here. Be right back. Okay, so I did a bit of investigative work on this, and I learned that if I think I need to focus here because this doesn't populate all the time, I abandon this part and it is a disaster. I really do need to focus here when I can. This will be reserved for when I can't make moves here. Also, if I make moves here, these slide out, but it doesn't affect this side of the board. If I make moves on this side, because things tend to flow from the left to the right, it will change what happens here. Some of these will flow out and it'll change this part of the board. So those are a couple of things that I've learned. That's the good news. The bad news is I learned those things because this is not my first try at this. I've got good things I could do here, but I also have this stripe I could make. But I'm going to work here directly. I'm going to take out this key. Oh, and then I was going to do this, but now I've got another green key. I'm going to do this. Now I can still make this stripe, and I don't have anything else that I can do really there. So let's take that. And now what I want to do is make moves here, and I don't see my opportunity to do that. If I can't do that, I want to make clear these things out, and I can't do that. And if I can't do that, I want to make moves over here, and I can't do that. So you see how luck is also part of this game. It's not the only thing. If you, if you think, well, I just have to wait for luck, it's true in some sense, but if you think luck is going to carry you, you're going to be waiting a long time. Ooh, now I'm going to do this, which does a couple of different things, changes the board. There we go. Uh, so what I'm saying is it's always or almost always a combination of luck and skill. Make sure you're making the very best choices possible so that you can capitalize on that luck when it shows up. So here we got a bit of luck. I'm going to try to capitalize on it. Open this up. 
This is looking pretty good, but it's not great. I can tell you that I'm nervous that I have so few moves and still so much to get done. So the reason I'm setting all of this up in this way, um, talking to you about this is my voice can't handle attempt after attempt these days. So I am going to pause the recording and come back without audio since you now see all of the things that need to be done, right? And, uh, and you can see that I've got a fairly decent strategy, oops, hello, fairly decent strategy because I'm getting close each time. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, with the strategy, hopefully it's enough to be able to uh, get you to that last bit where you can finish it on your own. But I'm going to pause the recording, come back without sound, and really work diligently to get this done so you can actually at least see a win. Plus, if I think of anything else, if I see any pitfalls or think of new strategies, I'll make sure I share those with you. See you in just a bit without sound. Okay, so here we go. Finally got it done. Got a little bit of luck. Got a head start and was able to complete this by using that same strategy. But it was a repeated process. That was about the 33rd or 34th or 35th try. Um, but got it done. That's all that counts. I get to move on. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you can make a color bomb combo with anything else, your chances will be much more likely to get you a win. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.